Hey, how's it going? This is Hellbent and welcome to Auto Hotkey GUI short tutorial number 7. In this one I'm going to show you how to make your GUI transparent. So, let's just jump into it. So, in order to do this, what we're going to need to do is create a color. Now, with the color, we want it to be a color that isn't going to influence any of the other features on our GUI. So, for example, our text or if we have any images or anything like that, we don't want to use a color that is matches any of those colors so the best way to do that is to pick an obscure color so that's what we're going to do in a recent tutorial I had made a color picker so that's going to make it a lot easier for me to let me see let me see pixel get color okay so I have a script here that I created the other day and this is going to allow me to get the color that I want a lot easier so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come into edit colors and I'm going to take this color picker and I'm going to pick uh it doesn't really matter what the color is it just you just want something that's going to be different than the normal colors. So I'll pick let's say this color here. So I got my color and you could look this up online. You can look up uh HTML color codes and you'll get the same color codes for that. So now that I have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my GUI that color. So GUI color. And then I'm going to copy this into it. In fact, I think I can get rid of this. So that's what I'll do. All right. So let's let's have a look to make sure that we have what we want. OK, there we go. We have our GUI. It's that color. And because it's such a random color, the chances of my text matching this or some other image matching this color is pretty slim. So I don't have to worry about those becoming transparent. So now I want to make this GUI transparent. The way I do that is the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that when it creates my GUI, it registers it as the last window that was active. So the way you do that is you just type in GUI and then plus last last found so now when it creates my GUI it'll create this window as the last window that's found so the next command will know which what we're trying to do with it okay the next we just type in win set comma and then what we want is trans color and then the color that we want to make transparent so in our case it's this color right here and there we go we'll save the changes we'll run it and now that color is transparent and I can see th right through my GUI I can also interact with things that are underneath my GUI so like as if it wasn't even there at all okay so that's it for this one um, when I get to I already have something planned for the for the checkbox tutorial so I won't do this one on that but maybe with the when I get to the radio button control what I'll do is I'll incorporate it so that way you can actually control whether the GUI is transparent or not using radio buttons alright so that's the end of this tutorial be sure to hit the like button or the dislike button whether this tutorial series dies or lives is up to you if you don't take the two seconds to hit the like button or dislike button you'll understand why I'm not going to take the hours to create these tutorials alright I'll see you on the next one have a good day